Hey guys, welcome to Rosie's Dessert Spot. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to make this stencil dragon marbled fondant cake. Got my cake board, applying my buttercream onto my cake board, and then applying my cake directly on top. And then putting some frosting right in the center and making sure to flatten it out all the way out to the sides. And this was a red velvet and regular mud cake that I've used for this with cream cheese frosting in the middle. I'm applying a whole bunch of frosting on the outside as well with my spatula. This is a hybrid buttercream and cream cheese frosting, half and half, and that's just so the um, frosting is a lot more stable on the outside and will set hard for my fondant. I'm going around the cake with my uh, bench scraper just to see which areas needs a bit more filling in, and then going around slowly to smooth off all of that frosting. Using my spatula to even out the top. and then setting the cake aside while we work on our fondant. So I've got some black, red and yellow fondant here and I'm rolling them out into logs and then just twisting them, folding it in on itself and then giving it one more twist before I kind of pile it into a bit of a ball shape, make sure it's nice and round and then go in with some corn flour to make sure it doesn't stick to your countertop and a giant rolling pin. Rotate your fondant every time to make sure you can keep that circular shape. Flip it over, see which side you like better because each side will give a different pattern. I like this side here, it looked a bit more mystical, I don't know, the, the um, colours were a lot more shaded in. And then place that over your cake, secure the top and the edges as well, and then secure your fondant onto your cake. To do, to do that, grab the flaps, kind of spread them out and then press down onto the cake. And do this all the way till the bottom and then Using a fondant smoother, make sure that the very bottom of the fondant is secured onto your cake. And then use a small spatula or a knife even to cut around the very edge of the cake. Remove the excess fondant and use your, bent, your um, fondant smoothers to smooth out the very top and the edges of your cake. Here I'm just kind of um, working in small circular motions, uh, pinching the fondant between my fondant smoothers just to create a nice sharp border and smoothing off the side some more. Then once you're happy with that, go in with a steamer and just steam the outside just to intensify the colors, remove any excess cornstarch, and to also make it, the cake a little bit tacky. This will help us with our stencil. So we've got a stencil here of a dragon, just pressing it onto the cake, making sure it sticks on. And then going over it with a steamer again, just to make the inside part of the stencil a lot more tacky and just bouncing on some edible gold dust with my blush brush. And just dab it lightly into those sections. And then to take off the stencil, grab one end and taunt it back as close to the cake as you can. You don't want to be pulling up and away from the cake, you want to keep it kind of to the side. It just helps not to lift the fondant. To decorate a black, red, and yellow fondant marbled cake. This is a lot more masculine in design. Uh, not to say that a chick couldn't receive this cake. This is perfectly cool cake. I would love to receive it, but it's a lot more of a has more of a masculine feel, if you will. But that's the cake for this Tuesday. Thanks, guys, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial, and I will catch you next time. If you like little cake toppers, I do sell those on my website, rosiesdessertspot.com.